Any Apple computer experts out there? What's going on, Nick? My computer is like freaking out. It's got um, bars of lines along the left side and along the bottom. Oh. No one had this experience. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good scene. Was it dropped? It, it sounds like no, there's a. Nothing. I mean, it was just, it was fine last night and then it just closed it and then came back to did, it this did, morning. Did you try a restart? Yes. <laughs> um, I thought it, of that. It, 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 I had that happen to me once. The, the connection between the monitor and the computer went bad. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, do a screenshot. I wonder, I wonder if it's your, uh, do a screenshot just to see, make sure it's um, definitely a display issue and not something um, right. deeper. It's, uh, to do the full screen is at um, command shift oh. one. Shift command four. Three. Command. Oh. Three. Three. Four is, uh, four is the, the yeah, version. The, yeah. yeah. Do you control yeah. the size of it? I do that a lot. Yeah, me too. Let's see. Yeah, it comes up in the screenshot as oh wait, no, wait, what's going on there? It does not show up in the screenshot. Yeah, that's your monitor somehow, huh? I would seem so. Oh, that's a bummer. I mean yeah. what unfortunate timing. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate timing. Good luck. Hey boss. Hey. Uh, I think Allison's up. All right. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me share it. I have some technical problem just now. <laughs> it's called Stanley. Uh, he's helping me with this. <laughs> just <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'll try to blank the answer. Wait one second. Uh, Okay. Okay. Can you see me now? See the homework now? Yep. Okay. So three question. First one, how many vastus in total? And what are the three big categories? 17. Yes. Yeah. And what are the three big category? Somebody remember? No. How to get them? Yes. How, How to, to keep them, yeah. Yeah. And um, How to repair them. Yes, great. Thank you, Sunam. And I think it's Rob Hagriti, right? Alex, oh, that one. <laughs> Alex Rivas. Oh, Alex Rivas, I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the second question. Please list the two sub K, oh, sorry, sub K, K categories. Categories. <laughs> Subcategories of the third category. Who remember? How to fix your vows and how to fix a schism or when people are fighting or arguing. Yay. <laughs> As a director of a big organization like <laughs> Manapur Sutnam, we need to master this, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you for the hint, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> so the third category is from 11 to 17. So from 11 to 14 is about how to fix your vows when you break them. And a 15 to 17 is special vastus. 
when the sanghas don't get along with each other. And what's the, if Michael shares some stories and what's the inspiration we can get from the second subcategory? Uh, that it's normal for people to fight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, Geshe Michael also gave his the example of his monastery, monastery, and I think, uh, for me when I hear about this, there are so many, there are some special vastus talking about this, and um, I think on one hand feel like oh relieved, and also feel that oh we are all normal people, so it is normal, and. <laughs> I also feel hope that in even 2000 years ago, uh, Lord Buddha gave us suggestions about how, how to do about this. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay, third question is just a specific question. So if you get some cloth, cloth for your robes, which is too bright, what should we do? Don't you put it in like water to make it less bright or wash it in water or something or oh yes and um, what's the idea here um that the dye will leach out of the fabric sorry <laughs> what did you say i don't know if i said the right thing so never mind too distracting <laughs> We, we, <clears throat> we want the cloth to be of a duller color so that the individual doesn't stand out and, uh, you know, like a, a fashion statement of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Thank me. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Valabo Gassi. Yay. Okay. Uh, three vocabulary. First one, go ki shu. Robes. We were just talking about these examples. things which relate to the robes. Uh, Costumes which relate clothing. to clothing. Yeah. Can we say vasto of clothing, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, top. Zopa. Zopa. Arguing. Yeah. Shiche. Calm down, people. Yay. Thank mm. you. <laughs> Love that you both said calm down, people. Uh, these are the, uh, I guess I didn't assign which paragraph, so I just chose the following two paragraph. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> we had um, Jemba a couple of days ago. Uh, anybody remember? Uh, it oh, means naked or something? Yeah, it means naked. Or in English, we do say the bare ground, you know? So oh. uh, uh, this kimba means to set, to set your robe, your uh, big robe, your patched robe, which is your, you know, highest robe, mm. to just put it down on the open ground. You know, oh, to set it down. You... Oh. No, no. Uh, so it means uh, without any kind of uh, covering or, um, you know, something to protect it from the dirt, you know, it means to put it down on the dirt. Okay. On the dirt? Okay. On the bare, bare ground, or you could say dirt. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sixteen. Uh, this is very similar. Mitsama means unclean. Maybe there was pupu there or, or something. So now uh, sar means on the, on the ground. Uh, sala, sar means on the ground. So it means to put your clothes down in a, in a place which is dirty. It could even be inside. Like if the floor is dirty and you can't put your robes on the floor. Or even if the chair is dirty, you can't put it on the, okay. Uh, I would say on a dirty place. Yeah. Place, no ground, okay. Like somebody, How's the just second a, somebody just made a banana pie 
and maybe there's some on the chair and then you shouldn't put your rubs there, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the second word here is clothing. clothing. And How's it chair, pronounced? Okay. So okay, should I say not the ropes here? Just uh, it's your uh it's your main shawl. Uh that it's that shawl with the patches on it. Uh you know, the outer the outer shawl, which is called your Dharma your main Dharma robe. Main Dharma robe. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's the main Dharma robe. Yeah, I think it's easier here. Okay. Yeah. Well, the first one is the rope, right? Uh, same. It's the same thing. Okay. Main Dharma rope. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank uh, you. That's so the much. main one that is uh, that shows that you're a monk or a nun, right? Okay. Oh, it's the yellow one, right? Yeah, with the patches on it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Good job. Good homework. And let's go to dun dun dun. dun. Sorry. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, so uh, Xiaoping did the first two, and let's go to the third one. Uh, please read and uh, Dr. Kramer, you're always here on my screen. I don't know, you, you go first, okay? Yeah, by the way, which Vastu are we inside? What number? Mm. So, yeah, which number is that? I don't remember. Uh, second never mind, wrong. it's okay. <laughs> I think it's six or seven or something. Okay, Kur means, do you guys know? Kur Porwa is a famous name for an arhat. A load? Uh, yeah, a heavy load. Uh, so sometimes arhats are called uh, uh, Xiaoping in the one day vows. Uh, arhats are called the people who got rid of their burden or their mm -hmm. load, heavy load. So kur kiawa means when you are carrying a heavy load, if there's somebody else there, and the word shin here is a tense. What is it? Progressive presence yeah. or whatever? Yeah, in the presence of somebody else, meaning there is oh. another person with you. Uh, literally, it means uh, there is being another person with you. Okay, uh, and you take the whole load, and you you carry it on. You wear your ceremonial, uh, beautiful yellow robe, and then you put this dirty load on top of your shoulders. Okay, and it's heavy, and it's gonna rub the dirt into your robe or something like that. Okay, so chugeki uh, tengdu means on top of your robes. Kur uh, what's chiwa mean? The opposite of yang wa. Isn't it like a sully or something? Heavy. Uh, heavy. Oh, it's heavy. heavy right, 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 okay. right. Chiwe. Because the load is too heavy, then it presses down on your rubs. Maybe it gives them a wrinkle. It'd be like carrying heavy surfboards in Nick's business suit. Okay. And uh, it would make your uh, clothes look un un inappropriate. Okay, kurwa. Okay, so to carry a heavy weight uh, on top of your religious robes, your main religious robes, uh, when there is somebody else around to help you, what's the mayingat? You can do it if there's nobody there. Available. Yeah, if there's nobody else around to help you, it's okay, which is usually the case in the monastery. All right. Uh, okay, number 18. Uh, Dr. Kramer, you're still up. Chukur then to Tingwa Tang. This den means your means your bed, right? And mm -hmm. Tingwa means to lay it down or to drape it. Uh, and it means uh, this is very common. You come home from a ceremony, you're tired, you just throw your robe off on the bed and you don't fold it uh, neatly. And uh, it's like throwing your business clothes on the hotel bed 
when you get back from a DCI program. Yay. All right. <laughs> Looks like- Oh, let me say, that means yeah. that we need, uh, the monks need to uh, fold it right after, yeah. right away, right? Yeah, and in fact, if the debate master sees you do that, they hit you. They'll hit oh. you with uh, a rosary. Uh, my debate master didn't use a rosary. He used a, an electrical extension cord. And that got everyone's attention quite quickly. Okay. Uh, all right, 19. Uh, Dr. Kramer, one more. Nekyang Chi, Do Tang, Shenki Chepala, Sope, Ze Choko, Kyong Patang. Yeah, good. Nekyang uh, means your monk's room. Okay, your monk's room. Uh, Chi Do means when you are sweeping it up, you are cleaning up your monk's room, like uh, with a broom, you know, and or when you go outside to the fields because they did not have toilets uh, and you're doing poo poo or pee pee. Okay. Uh, and if the wind is blowing the wrong way, it's kind of bad. But anyway, uh, Shang Chi means uh, poo poo and pee pee. So when you're doing poo poo or pee pee, or when you are sweeping up your monk's room, you shouldn't, kimba means where. Your sugar. What's sugar shopping? The main dharma. Yeah, the main dharma room. Okay. You shouldn't wear it when you're pee peeing or poo pooing. And you shouldn't wear it when you're sweeping up your room and it's dusty. Okay. <laughs> you got to remember, you got to wonder what the la sopa means after Shang Chi. <laughs> yeah, la sopa. I don't know. When you're playing soccer secretly behind the monastery. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> which is always fun. It's fun to go watch those guys. Uh, I never, I'm not a soccer fan, but I, I didn't play it, but it was, it was always fun to go watch them. Uh, okay, we need Nick to uh, check her on the next three. Go ahead, Jumpy. Kim to go wa tang. So, jo wa tang. So, nyong ki do nam. Yeah, Kim de Doa means uh, when you go to uh, a householder's, a non a non ordained person's house, of some family's house, or Sun Yom Ki Do when you are out asking for food, right? Uh, Namjar means that lower Dharma robe, so you should wear the extra robe, uh, two two outer robes, okay, uh, the under. The, the other yellow room, okay? You should wear both of them. And if you don't, then you broke your, you broke this uh, guideline. These are guidelines, they are not vows, right? Okay. Oh, uh, you mean you need to wear the four ropes, all the ropes? Yeah, yeah you have to wear the four ropes. I gotta check, I'm not sure if Namjar is equivalent to sugar. I have to check, okay? It might be the outer room. Uh, I gotta check. Uh, I have to. I have to check on that for you, okay? Uh, okay. Because uh, it's starting to feel like he wants it to be the outer room, uh, but he's already used the word sugar, which is uh, your outer room. So I don't know. Okay, uh, twenty-one. Nick, shopping. Okay, nam, nam, ja. Oh yeah. Namja. 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 Oh, Namja. Yeah, what's that mean, Nick? You guys can work this out. Wearing your uh, lower robe while you're sleeping. Yeah, uh, specifically to lay it down on the bed like a blanket and sleep on top of it. Okay. Okay. And, and by the way, I'm not sure it's lower robe. I have to check. Uh, and this third one, Nick, let's go shopping. We just had Jemba. Uh, yeah, naked, on a naked body, yeah. touching your robe yeah. with your naked body. It, it feels wrong, actually. If you ever mm -hmm. tried it, uh, it doesn't feel good. Uh, if you just took a shower and, uh, I don't know, somebody's outside and you put the robe over your 
your body and, and you're, you're not, your upper body and you're not dressed yet. It feels uncomfortable. It feels like something's not proper. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't put it on your naked body. Uh, one more, Nick. Up to shark patang. Yeah, car bop uh, means at random or haphazard. It means just throw your robe down in a pile. Uh, like you're in a rush, you get home from a ceremony. They didn't let you pee pee for three hours. And you just throw the robe in a pile on the bed or something. Uh, car bop means in, just throw it down anywhere. Okay, shakpa. You, you got to stop, fold it up respectfully, think about the meaning of it, and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Uh, Kashla, in this description that I have that I believe you wrote about the meaning of the robes, uh, okay. you say that Nyamjar is the fully ordained outer robe. Okay, so I think he might be using both words. Okay, and it feels like that. So we'll say outer robe. Okay. Uh, Utpala, why don't you check her on this next one? <laughs> no reason not to. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Joe Ze Lama Ma Shupa Tang. Shupa. Shupa. Shupa means uh, you didn't peel your llama like a banana. And <laughs> Shupa means uh, you didn't ask permission or you didn't tell your llama when you went someplace. Okay. So uh, it's a tradition in the monastery, uh, mm -hmm. especially if, if you're going to town or mm -hmm. you're going on a small day trip or something, you always tell your llama, okay, I'm, I'm going on a, on a little trip, okay? Uh, much less a uh, bigger move or something like that, okay? All right, uh, 25. Shuk kyang ma kyang wa zhuo wa tang. Well, man. Oh, yeah, man nangwa. What's this mean, you guys? That um, even if you tell them, um, yeah, good. You don't. This nangwa oh. means to give permission. Right. Mm. Oh. You don't grant. get permission. Yeah, oh. you tell oh. them, uh, but they don't agree, and then you still go. Okay, like that. So manangwa means they have not excused you uh, or they have not uh, released you to go, okay? So uh, I used to pull this with my diamond company boss. Uh, when he was talking about something else, I told him I, would go, I was going on a vacation next week, <laughs> but I would say it when he couldn't hear me. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, so I shoo, right? I told him. Uh, but he didn't respond. He didn't give me permission. So uh, Nangwa means he didn't grant his permission or she didn't grant her permission. Let's do one more, Venerable Utpala. Yeah, chapa means to clean up, uh, sweep up, clean up your... What, so what's it mean, you guys? You go away when you should have been sweeping up your room? Uh, no. If you don't, Chakba, you can't, you shouldn't go. Oh, okay. If you don't. If you don't. Yeah, and if you're a meditator uh, or you're a Dharma practitioner, uh, and, and as you get older in this life, as I can say, uh, when you go to bed or when you go out, clean up the place first, you know? And then when you wake up, the house is nice and neat and your meditation is, is, feels better. Or when you come back home from going to class or something, uh, you walk into a nice neat room and it helps your concentration. It helps your meditation. So it's, it's a good habit and you don't have to spend an hour. It means five minutes, you know, just, straighten up the main uh, messes around and um, and straight you know clean the the worst dishes you can leave a few glasses but but then when you come home or you or you wake up uh you feel like it's a meditation place or something like that okay all right it's a good habit 
it's a bad habit to leave piles of dirty dishes in your sink and, and have clothes laying around and stuff like that. It, it's not good for your meditation. All right, 27. Udpala, one more. Okay, yay. Nam tu jo wei se chok tang mi den pei long dam ma xing tu jo wa tang. Nice. You guys can work this one out. It's an interesting one. The time you're going down the path. Yeah, when you're when you're like walking to a sponsor's house, for example. Um, long time means conversation. And, um, mm -hmm. Not not chatting as you're walking to the yeah, path. Don't sponsor. chat about ch mayimba. Stuff that isn't dharmic. Isn't dharmic. Yeah, yeah. So don't talk about football games and you know politicians and stuff like that. Okay, because the uh, lay people will hear you, and they'll think, "Oh, monks and nuns just waste their time uh, watching TV or something." You know. So, chudam and mindembe long tam means uh, worldly talk, or you know, useless oh. talk, and uh, it's a very common descriptions in the in the scriptures of monks who were walking to a sponsor's house and they were chatting about stupid things like politics or or um, you know stupid things like foot sports uh, or TV and then the and then the lay people heard them and they lost faith you know they said oh these guys are watching TV all day okay why should we give them food this morning <laughs> okay. Uh, how about Venerable Sunam? Are you, you want to give it a shot? Sure. There we go. Kong Chok Ki Dong Tu Sa Che Pa Tang Chak Ta Che Pe Ng Chik Pa Tang Du Sok Dong Pa Tang. Yeah, this is an unusual one, okay? Uh, Coin Chucky Dundu means for the purpose of the coin chok, bao. Three jewels. Yeah, the three jewels. Okay. You are maybe uh, plastering a painting, a mural on the wall, or a statue. You are fixing a statue. Let's say you are using paint or you are using glue uh, to fix a statue or a painting. Uh, shell chip on means you are plastering with extra clay and uh, chaktar, maybe you are even uh, like you're using a piece of cloth to clean your dharma statues mm -hmm. on your altar or something and then some dust comes off or uh, some of the plaster is extra and it falls on the ground that plaster is now holy plaster and that dirt is now holy dirt, and you cannot go on it. Not walk on it? Yeah, you cannot step on it. Uh, and this is very similar to certain tantric vows, okay? Uh, you cannot put your foot on top of uh, even dust or even plaster, which has been on a holy statue or a holy painting, okay? Very interesting, okay? All right, uh, keep going, Sonampla, with shopping. Chicken pay like la 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 ne suk ching de ze ze kama rap rip ma me tang shek so do le chung wei me tak pay tik che ma jopa tang. Yeah, good. Um, so I don't know if you guys were with us in Thailand, but uh, when we went there, uh, I forgot we were doing some ceremony and the Thai people, mm. they sometimes have these little altars for, for the local spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we brought one back to Diamond Mountain because we used it for the Buddhist spirits, but um, uh, but that's called a Jigdenbe Thai Ne. That's called a worldly spirit 
uh, wow. altar or worldly spirits, uh, little temple or stupa for worldly spirits, okay? So if you go to a place that has one of these shrines or an mm. altar for a worldly spirit, uh, you're supposed to remind yourself of uh, Buddhism, of higher spirits, you know, of higher meaning. Uh, and so you're supposed to recite something. What is this? Diamond Cotter? Yeah, it's the last verse of the Diamond Cotter. Kamarabe Mamma Nangima Sibich, you've been the Milan Lover until the Buddha Jinn and Tinna Ja. Then snap your fingers and you're covered. Okay. Uh, by the way, I mean, I have to say, people add these vows or these suggestions. And if you follow all of them, you're going to mm. be a really strange person who doesn't care about other people because you're doing little rituals all day. Uh, so I, I would say be careful not to get, don't, don't get uh, anal, don't get, you know, don't become one of those irritating Dharma people who does everything right. And, uh, and they ignore people around them who need help or something, you know, like, oh, I need to talk to you. I'm, my husband's going to divorce me. And you say, gee, I would like to help you, but I have to do a ritual right now because we're at a worldly God's place and I have to do some recitation. So that's, I think everybody can feel that that's not what ordained people are, are supposed to do. You're not supposed to be wrapped up in these little rituals and you ignore people, real human beings. So it's, it's good to, to do them when you have time or when you're not hurting anybody else. But I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, helping others directly always takes, is always more important if you have a chance. Okay, so I, I would say don't get, uh, you know, don't get uh, obsessed with little tiny vows that you're supposed to keep. And, and then ignore real human beings, you know, or, or people who need you. Uh, mm -hmm. Emily, did you have a question? No, just Catherine seems lost translation. I would like to step in and help to translate to Chinese. Uh, okay, I'll try to slow down. Grandpa gets excited and then he... <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yeah, so try to recite some uh, sutra. Jodole Chungwei. Sikche means some verses. What's mitakpa, Xiaoping? Mitakpa. Uh, venerable Sunim? Uh, well, we had, Adam had a hundred uh, logical statements about draw mitakpa, about sound. So mitakpa means changing or impermanent, okay? Mitakpa, impermanent. So the, that uh, verse from the Diamond Cutter Sutra, the, it has two purposes, to remind yourself of emptiness and to remind yourself of impermanence, okay? So uh, for example, a star or a, a candle, uh, which is mentioned here, those are examples of impermanence. So you know, I don't know if you go somewhere and people are wasting their time. Uh, you could say a little verse to yourself about, you know, you don't have much time in your life. And then you will remember not to waste your time. Okay, so that's like a don't waste my time reminder verse. Okay. Oh, so Gesha here is not a reminder of the... Uh three jewels like yeah not really it's more oh, okay. uh, it, what the way he said it here implies it's to remind yourself you don't have time to do all these new age things I okay see. you can do dharma or you can do new age things in sedona but you've got to choose one or the other you don't have time to do both okay there's something like that all right uh and and trust me from the age of 69 uh, the time goes so fast 
And you don't have time to do a lot of silly things. You got to choose the most important things and you got to focus on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, one more Venerable Sunna, number 30. Let's go, Xiaoping. Okay. Ngaso we ne ne jo we kyap tang chup chup chope a chowe se tang chowe se tang se so te zang zang kang zang kang tu tang po chup pe ze chung chup same pe ching pe ye ye tak chowa cho se sok to le chung we ching pe jik che ma cho pa tang Good. Hey, Word, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you look up Sangkang in Das? I, I, I'm not, I don't remember. It's clean house, but I, I don't know if it means bathroom or it just means a temple. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Nelson in name means uh, if you... Uh, uh, this is a tradition, okay? If you go to an Airbnb, okay? <laughs> Uh, so ngel soa means to take a break. Okay, ngel means tired. Soa means to refresh yourself. Uh, when you like go out to the countryside and you stay in a little hut for a few days to get away from the monks, which is a popular thing to do. Uh, you know, when you go to take a break somewhere, my teacher, uh, Geshe Tutorinjan, he used to, every winter, uh, he would, uh, sorry, every summer, he would go up to the Himalayas uh, for a month or two, just to get away from all the noise at the monastery. Okay. Nene Joy Cup. Or Chichua means uh, you walk uh, far away from the monastery with buckets to bring back water. Okay. There was no pipes. Uh, mm. Or Say uh, Su, uh, you went out to take food from uh, a family and you come back to your, your main monk's room. What Sankang word? Um, it's a temple, and I think there's another full form. It's Dri Sankang. Okay. All right. And you come, the first, Tangbor means Jupa. When you first come back to your monastery temple or your, the place, I would say probably the, the place where you usually stay, okay, uh, you should recite some verses, okay? Okay. Uh, Oh, mm. well, actually, I don't know. Anyway, okay, when you, I, I'm thinking when I go on a vacation and I go to an Airbnb or, you know, I go someplace else uh, that I might stay for a while, then you should bless the place, okay? Uh, you should bless the place. And you should do some verses. There are famous verses. When you walk into the Airbnb, uh, you should say some verses about, oh, this should be a holy place or something, okay? Like that. Chanju Sembe Jimbe Yida Doa Chut. Cheso Dole Chumi Jimbe Okay. So, uh, sorry, the context is this. You went out and you got something, uh, someone gave you food or gave you water, okay? Mm -hmm. And, or someone gave you a place to rest. And uh, when you come back, uh, you should do prayers that the giving should have a big effect on the world, okay? So Dole Chungwe from Sutra, Jimba means uh, act of charity, act of sharing, act of giving. Sikche uh, means so you should say some prayers that the giving should help people. Okay, uh, and oh, it's a it's a dedication of the act of giving, e even though someone gave you something. Okay, or or you're bringing back water or food for the other monks or something like that, and you get back to your monastery, then you should. Uh, or or you go to stay at some Airbnb that someone let you use. Anytime there's an act of giving, mm. then you should dedicate the giving. 
And there are special prayers for dedicating the giving. Okay. Oh, so uh, Gesha then, here. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. So Go you ahead. mentioned about place that place that hub mm -hmm. or current Airbnb, but just now yeah, you yeah. mentioned how it's actually make a prayer to bless the giving, not the place. Yeah, I, that's correct. That's correct. That's uh -huh. what the end of this sentence says. So uh, if you go to some Airbnb that someone let you use, or if you go to get water or food and you bring it back to share with the other monks, or, or somebody helps you in some way, uh, you can, it's kind of like a coffee meditation about the act of giving. Okay, you should do a coffee meditation about the, the charity. Okay, oh. you, you should dedicate it to some higher purpose. Okay, and so you um, say some prayers to dedicate the giving, even though yeah. it is done by other, somebody else yeah, towards you. Person. Exactly. Yeah, oh. or maybe it's you bringing back water or food for your monks. Okay. Oh. So, uh, and uh, I went and found it. There are special prayers. Uh, and I went and found it for you, okay? Mm. Uh, and he just mentions the first line. And uh, I went and found the whole verse for you, okay? And mm. it's from uh, Shirchin Dupa. Dupa means the short, short version of the perfection of wisdom. So there's 100,000 verses, there's 25,000 verses, there are 18,000 verses. There's 8,000 verses, and Dupa is very short. Uh, it's a very short perfection of wisdom. And this prayer is inside there, which he says, it's, he says, Do Le Chungwe, right? Go to the sutras and find that verse about dedicating giving or sharing, uh -huh. and try to remember to say it. So I went to the you know, he must have known that we had ALL. <clears throat> so here's the whole verse, and I'd like you to read it. And I thought that Kading, Kading, are you there? Yes, yeah. I'm here. Can you check her? Be tough on her. Everyone's so nice to her. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> Thank you, Venerable Kading. So then that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Changchu. Oh, okay. sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Chang Chip Sam Pei Chin Pei Chin Pei Yip Dak Jowa Chok Duwa Tang Ni De Xing Nyong. Sounded good to me. Uh, sorry, we, I'm sorry. It's, the, it's all one long verse. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Let me do it properly, okay? Do, 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 do. How do you pronounce the D V A G S, please? Yidak. It's Yidak. Yeah, the V is silent and it's just used. Uh, Yidak. Now that you asked, okay, now that you asked, how do you pronounce this? A gay? Uh yeah, gay, which means by the happiness, like gawa meaning happiness, okay, by the happiness. Okay. And this one means yidak, okay? So it's this one, you see what I mean? And uh, in Tibetan, those look the same. They look exactly the same in Tibetan. So normally Tibetan is a non, what do you call that, ambiguous language you can always pronounce Tibetan correctly if you know the rules. It's not like English or something. If you know the rules of Tibetan, you can pronounce a word that you don't know correctly. Uh, but there's a few, a very, very few exceptions, and this is one of them. When you see DGS, you don't know whether it's gay or dark. So they put a V, they put a tiny triangle on the main letter. Uh, and that alerts you that this is dog and not gay. Okay. Okay. Don't forget you asked, Venerable. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, please read the rest of it. Ulua. Dua tang ni de shin. Ulua. Ulua. Ul. 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 
Like Ooh. I'm hungry in Chinese. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Yet gay pa top pa cure. Okay, keep going. Chimpe do nya cure way, same chain yong mean chip. Yeah, nice. Okay, and um, these are verses from the perfection of wisdom taught by who? Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha. Buddha. And they are to accompany the six perfections. So here's the first one, forgiving, okay? You know cha from Dorje Chopa. Cut. Cut. Yeah, to cut, right? Like a diamond cutter, Dorje Chopa, right? So I think this giving of a bodhisattva, okay? Does the bodhisattvas... Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the giving of a bodhisattva should chippa all the yidas. Should cut all the... Yidas. Stop. Or the evils? Yeah, uh, suffering, hungry ghosts. Okay, so, uh, you know, somebody just gave us some food or a, an Airbnb to take a break in, or someone just gave us some, or I'm giving water to the other monks. May this be the giving of a bodhisattva, which stops rebirth in the whole universe of anybody as a hungry ghost. Okay, cool. Uh, I see. That's the cut here. And that's what cut here. Uh, it's very yeah. beautiful. Okay, so anytime someone gives you a Tesla or something, uh, <laughs> do a prayer that it should stop poverty. Okay. All oh, right, really? second line. Ulwa means Mr. Kramer. Ulwa. 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 Uh, Ulwa. Ulwa means poverty. Poverty. Uh, okay. I didn't know. Uh, may Ulwa and May Nyomong's Ch. Uh, mental affliction. Yeah, may poverty and may negative emotions be Ch in the whole universe. Be removed. Be cut. May they be, be cut, cut off. Okay, so may this giving cut off all the people born as hungry ghosts. And may it cut off anyone who has poverty. And may it cut off anyone who has mental poverty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Yay, uh, I want that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Gesha, is there the, your interpretation as Yong Mong as mental poverty or it is in the text? It's heavily implied in the text. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's very beautiful. Okay. Chit <laughs> uh, Se means, uh, and, when, and when me and the other monks use this food or water or Airbnb, okay? Chit say, mm -hmm. uh, may it act as a karmic cause for everybody in the world to have infinite taiye longche. What's longche? Oh. Uh, stuff. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> house, Enjoyments. house, car, food, furniture, everything's stuff you use. Longche means stuff you uh. use. So in one way, the first two lines are, by this so act of cut, giving, may they cut off all this bad stuff. Mm. And what's the third line? To gain something? Yeah, by this act of giving, may all those poor people get lots of money, nice place to stay, new car, okay? Uh. And you guys can translate this last one. Come on, Kading, you guys work on this. Tim's going to help you if there's any words you don't know. What's Jimba? Giving. Jimba, yeah, Jimba is the first perfection. 
by this act of giving, dunya. Suffering. Is that suffering? Suffering of semchens. Okay. Beings. Awesome. Yeah, beings. of living beings. May it minje. May it all ripen in two minutes and finish. Okay. I wish he would have said not ripen. I know. Uh -huh. I was wondering. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a weird prayer, you know. I hope everyone has a huge disaster today and then everything's going to be good after that. I don't know. Okay. But uh, this is another one of those little rituals that you're encouraged to do. I don't think you can do it all day long. You won't do anything else. And you'll be that kind of spiritual person who does their little rituals and ignores other people. Uh, but uh, still, it's a sweet little ritual, and you can do it sometimes, okay, for fun. I think Airbnb is a good place to do it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Gelsey, we got any more ordained people here? Uh, we have lots of them, I think. Yes, okay. in here. Chunsum and Venerable Jigme and Cotton. Venerable Cotton. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, okay. I was thinking, uh, Cotton, you want to try? Thank you. Lemki Shaksa. Q? Yeah, Sumpama Chepatang. Yeah. Uh, now this is a hard one for me. Okay. Uh Shaksa means uh, you know, there wasn't hotels in ancient times. There were just little uh inns or or you stayed at somebody's house. So Shaksa means where you uh stop your journey for the night. Okay. Lampi Shaksa. Mm -hmm. If you're on the road mm -hmm. and you stop at a small lodge or a small house in inn for the night, you must do the Gyunchak Sumba when you get in the room. Okay, so you're entering a, a, an un, a strange room. You don't know this room. Uh, you're probably never going to see it again. It's like a hotel room. Mm -hmm. uh, and you should, we say in English, you should break in the place. You should try to put a little spiritual feeling to the place, okay? Uh, so there's this, uh, Gyunchak Sumba means there's the uh, three prayers. It's called the usual three. Gyunchak means, Gyunchak means the usual three. Okay? Uh, the usual three prayers, okay? And I went and found them for you. Thank in, you. In the Vinaya Vastu, you guys know what that means now. The foundation of okay. yeah, and here's the uh, where is that? Okay, this is a long story, but you don't mind because we're just trying to learn the scriptures, we're not trying to finish anything, right? Uh, okay, <laughs> who's checking cut in? Let's go. Um no shak sum uh sum pa dog pa now je cha wa ni ye or ye 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 ka kong chok sum ki gyo tang do de gyo tang ngo we gyo cha gyo shak Zoom, don't part, ciao. Good. Uh, Mr. Word, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you look up Gekar? I, I don't know this one. Sure. Gekar. Okay, Ginchak Sumba, the three normal prayers. Dumba uh, means you should recite them when you get into a hotel room or some new room where you're going to stay temporarily. Okay. She uh, It refers to I don't know what's gig or something about dividing it up or something. Koinjo uh, Sunki Gyu means uh, a deep prayer for the three jewels. Dode Gyu, uh, a deep prayer that relates to the scriptures. 
in a deep prayer that relates to uh, dedication. Noah, yeah. okay. Dumba Jao says, means please recite these three prayers. One for the three jewels, one for the teachings, and one for dedication. Okay, uh, you got it. Uh, word does it mean separately the three or something? Or? I haven't found it yet. It's not in either mm. Das or the Great Dictionary, so I don't. I have to keep looking. Yeah. Okay, it might be uh, misspelled or something. I don't know. Um, okay. I think it it might mean do it uh, separately because gay can mean to separate. Okay. Um, and I'm, then I'm going to take you, I went and found the three, these three, okay? Uh, and we can start here. Uh, so this is one of the three prayers that you're supposed to do when you get to a new place, okay? And you kind of bless the place that you're going to stay overnight or something like that. So please read shopping. Who's checking you is... Chunzong, are you there? No. How about Kadin? You want to keep going? Okay. Are you translating? Are you translating? You are translating. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the other monk we have here? Hasso? <laughs> okay, Hasso's going to check. Okay, please read. Uh, okay, I'll check. Dan. Pardon, pardon, uh, pardon, chicken yeah. zoom to cup, truck, 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 oh, truck, dump a joke, no, sink, and that's truck, 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 sink, truck, again, truck, 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 then what's the truck? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello? Uh, yes, we can hear you. <laughs> Tom, ah, thank you. Tom Tom Che Kim Pa Kong Chok So Nepa. Good. Nepa. Shak La Sang Wang Suki No. Two, two, good. Two, nga, nga, two, nga, gya, gya, so, two, gya, so, gya, so, ding, da, me, gya, wa, good, gya, wa, joe, joe, zo, la, chi, bu, shak, chi, wu, chi, wu, chi, wu, chi, wu, chi, wu, uh, what's this one? Chak. Chu, chak sa te. Nice. Okay, good. Ah, nyan be ba den ji den sum du da den be chu da sang ge da da ba tam je ken ba kong yo du nye ba shab da zang wang zu ki no bu du du nye ge zo ting da me ge wa yo wei zo la ji wei cha zo te. Very famous. Okay. Nyan be ba den means the flag of your fame. Okay, the high flag, like we fly our country's flag very high. Mm. And this means the flag of the Buddhist fame is Jokpa throughout the three Jigdens. What's that mean, you guys? Famous. Famous throughout the three, um, three worlds. Everybody in the three worlds knows about it. Usually mm. this means desire realm, form realm, formless realm, okay? Mm. Uh, so the flag of your fame flies in all three worlds and everybody mm. knows what it means. So that refers to the first of the Sambal. Three jewels. Buddha? Buddha, Buddha jewel. Buddha jewel. Buddha. Okay. Your fame is, is like the flag. Now what, mm. what's the next jewel? Dharma jewel. Yeah, Dharma jewel. Dampe Chuda, the sound of your holy Dharma. You, you send it out like a senge. Like, a like lion. Singa Singapore. Lion's roar? Yeah, like a lion's roar. Okay. When you teach the Dharma, it's like the roar of a lion. What's the next uh, three jewels that we think might come next? 
Guess I were over time. Sorry. Angkatu. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's stop there. Okay. Let's stop there. I don't want to break into. Uh, anyway, this is a prayer to the three jewels that you should do when you get to a new place. And we'll finish it next time. Stop here. What is the Thank day today? So 19? Yes, sir. 19. Yes. Wow. All right, kids. Go take a Thank you, Sushi. Break. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sushi. We had Thank good you, sushi Kishla. last night. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And, Thank uh, you, Kishla. We'll see you in five minutes or something. Ten minutes? Yes, sir. Six minutes. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Shopping. You are okay. very patient to go for many years through this book. <laughs> I think it's very beautiful. You can do a lot of application. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. Okay. All okay. right. I'm going to use...